Today we're taking a look at how to implement custom images to your motion graphics in Fusion. Previously I have showed you how to make and use macros, but so far it's only been with text. Let's say I wanted to make an animation like this. Furthermore, I want to make it as a preset because I know I'm going to be using it a lot. Uh, but of course it's not going to be the same image every time, so I also want to be able to change the image. Now, how would I do that? And the answer here is Lotus. So let's open up uh, Fusion. And to get started, let's uh, load an image that we want uh, in the animation. Uh, so we're gonna open up here a new node called a loader. And in there, we're gonna choose our image. I'm just gonna choose a random image I found on the World Wide Web. And as you can see, this image is way too big. It's very, very big. So I'm gonna add a transform node called an XF. And, and here I'm able to change the size of the node. Uh, now, let's add a background to that uh, with a merge node in between, and I'll come back, back to that later why, we, why we're gonna do it like this. Uh, as you can see, now the, the background is put on top of the image, and the image is still way too big, so if you press Ctrl T, you change the order of the merge inputs, and the image is now uh, uh, in the canvas size of the background. Now let's add the phone frame on top, so we'll add another loader node here, and we get an automatically get a, a merge node. And I'll choose this uh, image of the phone frame that I've made, and as you can see, now the phone frame is on top of the image, but it's not really inside of the phone frame. Now we're gonna use the background as a mask for this. So we're gonna add a polygon, and then we can actually just draw alongside the edge of the phone frame here uh, to, to make the mask uh, of where the image is gonna be. And now remember to set the operator in this merge node to be in, otherwise the mask is not gonna do anything. Now let's uh, add a background to this whole thing. So uh, add a final merge node with a background and give the background a nice dark gray color. And uh, now we can actually change the size of the image and it will only change inside of the mask. Now that's basically how you use Lotus to load in images. Um, but let's, uh, let's add an animation to that. So we're gonna add a, a transform node here and I'm gonna choose my in and out points and uh, animate it using uh, keyframes. And we can make the animation a bit smoother by opening the spline tab. And uh, if we pre press this uh, button here, we can uh, see all the keyframes at the same time. If we select all the keyframes, just like this, and press F, we get them uh, easy eased, uh, as you'd say. And we can actually just change them to customize the smoothness a little, little bit. And uh, if you hold Control, you'll only change the selected velocity, so not around the keyframe, but only on one side of the keyframe. And that comes in handy a lot of times. All right, so this animation looks uh, nice. Now let's say we wanted to change the image here. We're gonna choose our loader node and we're basically just gonna browse for another image, choose this image. And as you can see, it, it won't really fit uh, size. Um, so I'm just gonna go into the, here to the transform node and I'm gonna change the size of it. Uh, change the fit basically. Now let's say we wanted to make this into a macro, basically a preset. We'll select everything. And if you're wondering how to make macros, check out my other videos on that. Uh, so the important thing to keep in mind when, when using Lotus as macros is that you go under here, under File in your Loader node, under File you choose Clip, because that's here where you browse for another uh, image. It can also actually be a video. And remember also to, in your Transform node, click Center and Size, because that way you'll be able to align the different sizes of images. And that's basically it. That's how you add custom images to your motion graphics in Fusion. Make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more graphics machinery.